One of the most exciting additions to version 16 is a new Design of Experiments wizard. The wizard guides the user through a 12-step process in which you create an experiment, analyze the results, and then implement the fitted statistical models. This next set of videos takes you step by step through this process. If you're familiar with the DOE capabilities of version 15, you'll see some exciting new additions in version 16. The DOE wizard handles the analysis of multiple responses automatically. From the very beginning, you define each of your responses, your goals, and eventually it will optimize those multiple responses together. The DOE wizard can also create designs with both process factors and mixture components in the same design. It can also create designs with quantitative and categorical factors combined. The DOE wizard also offers robust parameter designs. These are designs in which you're attempting to find the level of process factors in which the effect of external noise factors is as small as possible. The wizard can create these RPD designs using both Taguchi's crossed arrays and Doug Montgomery's combined approach. In the DOE wizard, you'll find new diagnostic plots, such as variance dispersion graphs and fraction of design space plots, which show you how the prediction variance varies throughout the experimental region. There's an improved run selection when you're creating deoptimal designs, and you can also input multiple samples at each design point and have the wizard automatically calculate means and standard deviations. The analysis procedures have integrated options which will automatically transform the response variables while they fit a statistical model. You can use logs, square roots, even a box Cox transformation. One of the most exciting new features in the DOE wizard is a new response surface explorer. This lets you take any response surface or contour plot and see the effect of each factor by moving slider bars on a dialog box. The DOE wizard will also automatically optimize multiple responses together using the concept of desirability functions. And finally, you can take the fitted models and extrapolate them to find regions outside the original design space where the desirability is even higher.